I'm Jim Seidel from Interlux. We're here in the boatyard looking around, talking about problems that people have uh, painting the bottoms of their boats. Okay, this is a brand new paint job. It probably painted last week, maybe even Saturday, and then it rained, uh, and we got a lot of rain, and you can see streaking down the boat. This is very typical of, of a blade of anti-fouling paints. Uh, this does not affect the way the anti-fouling works. It's just, um, it's just not pretty, especially after you put on you know, a, a $200 gallon paint. Right now it looks bad because it's right here and you just did it and it, you know, spent a couple hours painting the bottom of the boat and getting it all prepared, spending a day. But that's what caused it and it's, it's, that's one of the things about ablative paints, they do change color. Ablative means to wear away and there's a bunch of different ways paints wear away. Uh, like our old uh, Red Hand or, or that type of paint we painted the arc with, those were real soft rosin based coatings, uh, been around forever and they would just, you could shake the boat and get a cloud of paint around the boat. They were very, very soft. Then we have the top of the line, the Micron uh, 66. That wears away chemically with a reaction with salt in the water. The Micron CSC, the Micron Extra, it's a physical action of wearing through the water. And they act the same way. And you do that, you, you control that uh, by the mixing of uh, a rosin and resin. And, and rosin is less expensive than resin, so if you want a cheaper paint, you put more rosin than resin, but it wears away faster. 